Hey chaps, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Monsters. We've got to go register our team. Uh, but before we do that, I want to go explore the HQ because we've kind of dipped our toes in, but not really. Now, there's probably, judging by just how this game seems to work, there doesn't seem to be any kind of items to find in the town. Every building I've been in so far has had nothing other than, you know, a few NPCs to talk to, so I fully anticipate to, you know, for that to be the case here. But you don't know unless you try, so, uh, yeah, no, no books reading, no book reading for us. Hello. We've developed all kinds of scouting items here, including that ring on your finger. Did you know that it was Dr. Snap who invented the scout ring? With that one invention, his, his he revolutionized scouting. And how did our dad get hold of it then? Hmm. I still don't really know what the deal is with my dad and this whole cell organization. The commissioner may seem a bit balmy, but don't let that fool you. He's an accomplished scout and doctor, and a brilliant scientist to boot. I bet he just plays at being absent-minded to catch his enemies off guard. Oh, a bit like, um... Ah, uh, Columbo. Of course, I'm only joking. The Commissioner doesn't have any enemies, how could he? I have a feeling my dad is one of his enemies. I mean, our dad is basically having us do corporate espionage right now, so... I really don't know... <laughs> really don't know what's going on too much. Uh, did I talk to them last time? I think I did. I think I did. Uh... It doesn't make sense. The challenge is supposed to be about thrills and spills. But now we have to run around collecting bits of rock? What's the thrill in that? I want to ask the, the commissioner about it, but they won't let me see him. Maybe they'll let me see him. Oh, maybe not. The commissioner is a very busy man, don't you know? He's not to be disturbed. Okay. Oh, black screen of death? Why did, why did the game need that? Why, why couldn't it just be like, yeah, no, you don't go that way, and then I could just turn around, but okay. Uh, let's check out upstairs. Again, there's probably nothing here. But... Yeah, it's nice to talk to people. I was the one who found it, the monster that was trying to sneak in here. Oh yeah! It was just a little thing, not all that scary to be honest. It didn't try to attack me or anything, it just sort of scampered off. I wonder what kind of monster it was. And I wonder if we're going to see it at some point. Uh, This looks like I'm not going to be able to go in here. Oh, I can. Oh, never mind. What the heck? Oh, we're outside. That looks bloody dangerous. Where the heck are the railings? You wouldn't get me walking across that. No bloody way. No thank you. Do you see that small bell tower over there? It houses Baden's Bell. It also happens to be the goal of the challenge qualifiers. Only those scouts who've collected 10 Darkonium crystals are able to enter. Oh. So if I walked over here, very bravely by the way, the door is shut. Okay. Better collect that Darkonium and fast. I have no idea what it even looks like. I still haven't registered my team though, so there probably isn't any of it we can pick up right now. Uh, okay, well that was interesting. Again, no items. No items to find whatsoever. Uh, oh, we've got a bar! I like the look of this, although there doesn't, doesn't seem to be anyone tending said bar at the moment. This is the lounge where scouts can come and unwind during the knockout tournament. I do hope you reach the finals. Oh, I think we've got a fan. <laughs> hey! Again, I've no idea, uh... If we give a crap, we, we do. We just have resting bitch face just constantly. What's in here then? Another little balcony. With no railings, this is so dangerous. Look to your left. Do you see that enormous floating structure? That's where the challenge finals are held. Hundreds of ca uh, chimeras are harnessed beneath, flapping day and night to keep it afloat. That is... that is cruelty. That is slave labor. At least that's one theory, but no one really knows how it stays up there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, I don't bloody see any. But then again, I can't really move with the camera very well. Hmm. And again, nothing out here at all. Just, just flavor text. 
Right, well I think uh, I think that's about all of it explored, isn't it? One chap over here to talk to. As well as the seven main islands of the archipelago, there are countless smaller uncharted islands. Ooh. You might come across some of them when you travel on the sea scooter. I might... Am I going to be able to have a bit more freedom with that at some point? Because at the moment, it seems like it just takes you straight to the islands you're supposed to go to. Maybe it will. Alright, th yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I think I spoke to you last time. I don't remember. <laughs> don't remember. Let's just go register our team. Welcome to the Monster Scout HQ. You're here for the challenge, is that right? Let me just register you. Okay, mage, I've registered you as a participant. You're all set. Let me tell you about the Monster Scout Challenge. Your first objective is to collect 10 Darkonium Crystals. Yeah, Darkonium is a rare kind of rock, usually taking the form of star-shaped crystals. Can't be that rare if I have to find blooming 10 of them. There are Darkonium Crystals scattered across the islands. Once you've collected 10 of them, you're allowed to proceed to the goal. Well, luckily, I know where that goal is. First five scouts to reach the goal advance to the next round of the challenge. Now, I'm going to guess that I don't need to worry about that. That there's not actually a race of any kind. It's just, you know, story stuff. And that's all you need to know for now. You can always come here later to remind yourself of the rules. I'll be fine. Don't hesitate, yada, yada, yada. Right, so I guess I just have to go off to uh, one of the islands again and check out... Uh... Oh, got a cutscene. Oh, that guy's name is Bluff. Okay. You don't understand. I need to talk to the commissioner now. Suit. No one is allowed to... I mean, he is actually wearing a suit as well. No one is allowed to see the commissioner. That includes you, I'm afraid. No one at all? Since, since when was that a rule? Since I was given my orders. Please step back, sir. Or I will have to beat you to death. Right, so no one's seen the commissioner right now. Luckily, I don't give a crap. What I do want to do is go uh, collect this Darkonium and hopefully get some more monsters. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to be right back a second, chaps. Right, sorry about that, chaps. Okay, so we are going to head off to uh, one of the islands to find these crystals. I think... Did I? I did explore all of this, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. So, I think down here... Ah, actually, wasn't... Didn't they say... Yeah, can I go in here now? This is the department store, but apparently it's, oh, it's still closed for renovation. Ah, uh, bugger. I was hoping we could buy it, but well, then again, I don't really have much money, do I? I have, like, no money whatsoever. Alright, let's go back down. Uh, wait, was this where I came from? No, this is a different area. Can I... Could, could I go to different islands, then? Infernile. Danger level C. Ooh, that might be a bit too tough for me, but... They say a terrible catastrophe once befell this island. Beware of zombies. Travel to... Oh, if I can go to every island from the get-go... But, you know, just have to deal with stronger enemies. That's awesome. I love... I love being given freedom like that. No, I'm not going to, because, yeah, they'll probably, probably get wrecked if we go. But, if I can actually go to most of the islands from the very beginning of the game... Xerophile. Danger level E. Ooh, that might be doable. A bowl-shaped desert island inhabited by a variety of monsters. Travel to the island? Oh, dude. Yes. I was going to go back to Infantile, but uh, no, looks like we do have quite a lot of freedom. That's awesome. I like a game that respects, you know, you, d you don't need to just make things, oh yeah, no, you can't go here yet, you're not high enough level. Just make the enemies really tough, so if we do go, we get slaughters. But we can still go, you know, it's more realistic that way. I like that. That is really cool, and ooh, we've got Cure Slimes, dude. If I can get a Cure Slime, I'm going to assume they already know Cure. And that might mean I can probably just bench Goober, to be honest, because I'm still waiting for him to get some skill points. 
Looks like we've got another Pokemon Center here. Uh, yeah, let's actually take on a Cure Slime and see if we can grab one. Oh, that's going to be epic. If I, did, Why are they disappearing? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, a Heal Slime at this stage. Probably a really good basic healer. Okay, let's see if we can scout it straight away. Come on, guys. 16%. Twenty-six. Come on, Platy. Ooh, forty-one. Not bad. Come on, heal slime. You know you want to join my team. Yes! Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call this one Healy. Because I just have to. I have to do it. And yeah, I think... Okay, comes at level four. So if it doesn't already have the heal spell, I bet... Once we level, get some skill points, I bet we can learn the heal spell immediately anyway. I'm going to guess anyway, but I, I'm saying the word anyway a lot. <laughs> anyway, Healy joins the team, and that is going to replace Goober, I think. Uh, out to team, please. Mage's team is full. Please remove a team member. Okay. Oh, I can do that. For oh, that's good. Okay, right. Yeah, bye, Goober. Sorry about that. Maybe, maybe I'll fuse you with something later on. But for now, Goober is gone and Healy is in the team. 28 HP, 28 MP. Very nice. And uh, yeah, we just need to get it leveled, I think. Unless, unless it already has the heal spell. No, it doesn't. Okay. So I bet... Yeah, I bet if we get... Uh, just one more level, we'll probably get five skill points. And I'm going to assume we can learn the heal spell, which is just going to be so helpful. And uh, once we get that, we can start exploring this island good and proper. A bunch of bones there. Don't know why these cure slimes just fade in and out of existence. All right, just on his lonesome. We only need one XP to level Healy up anyway, so. Uh, Bruce with the Zam, of course. 32 damage, one shot. Beautiful. Six XP. Whee. Two HP, four MP. Defense. I mean, obviously, Healy is not going to be something we rely on for damage, but just having a dedicated healer. Oh, and Platy's level 5 too, which means Platy's going to get some skill points. Nice. Yeah, okay. And 19 gold, that's a bit better. Do need some money. Do definitely need some money. Right, let's get these uh, skill points spent. Ah, yes. So we can learn the heal spell straight away. And then we can even learn buff, mid-heal, and zing. Oh... Okay, yeah, I'm going to be focusing on the healer skill tree for sure. Because Dragon Quest games, they're always so rough at the beginning because you just don't have a way of reviving people. Um, Zing is usually, you know, quite a late spell to learn. And you don't really have, you know, there's no Phoenix Down items. So I think, uh, I think that is what we're going to do. Let's learn the heal spell. Alrighty. And Platy skill points. Let's see. Naturalist. So we can learn Heartbreaker, Sandstorm, Dragon Slash, or Body Slam. Or we could get more defense, HP. Um, our defense is pretty high as it is again, so I think I'm just going to go for Heartbreaker and see what that does. Because uh, I have no idea. All right. New skills, new abilities, excelente. Ooh, is that a scorpion tail I see? Ooh, that might be pretty tough, though. Uh, let's give it a try, shall we? Let's give it, let's give it a go. They are really big. Every, every monster in this game is really big. Until you start fighting it. Oh, okay, the two stun to act. Beautiful. Ah, oh, I just thought, I can probably recruit this scorpion. So I'm going to focus on killing uh, the Cure Slime first. 
heal only costs 1 MP? Are you serious? That is so cheap. Damn. What's Heartbreaker do? An attack that can cause the target to miss a turn. Oh shit, son. Yes, please. Although, saying that, probably don't need to use it in this fight, but... Let's do it on the, uh, on the Scorpion. Yes. I just hope I don't kill it. One shot the heal slime. Healy does like no damage. And the scorpion is shocked. Oh, that ability is going to come in handy. I mean, it's probably not going to work very often, but when it does, let's uh, see if we can scout this bad boy. I would love a scorpion on my team. But again, it's going to be a case of like, who do I replace? It might be Platy if uh, if the Scorpion turns out to be any good. Because I don't I don't want to get rid of my starter. I love Bruce and Zam is really powerful. Twenty nine percent. We're gonna get lucky. Ah, uh, damn it. And yeah, I love I love that tensions in this game. I wonder if we can psych up at any point. It doesn't seem like we can. Uh, so maybe it is just when monsters fail to get scouted. Alright, let's finish you off. Alright, yeah, they weren't too tough, actually. I do want one, though. 13 XP. 29 gold coins. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do some fighting around here, chaps. Definitely. Um... There are a lot of scorpions around. I mean, it is a desert. It makes sense. Uh, I think I'm going to go check out the scout center, Pokemon center. See if there's any new equipment I might be able to buy. Because, yeah, now that we've got Healy, might have some... I mean, they're just because it's a different island, I'm just thinking there might be more uh, items. But let's heal first. Welcome to Xerophile, where, uh, I might be saying that wrong, where sand and pits become one. This island is famous for its ancient battle arena and perilous pool of quicksand. Both are located in the crater valley in the center of the island. We tell all our visitors that they should go and see them first? Oh yeah, go check out that, that quicksand. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm okay, thanks. You got anything to say, pal? The door at the back leads to the scout's den. Oh yeah, we need to check that out now. There are already a few challenges in there taking a break. The battle arena in the center of the island will open soon. I heard that one of the prizes will be a Darkonium crystal. Oh! Can't wait to find out for sure. So these things are probably going to be actually kind of hard to come across then. Unless you can just stumble across them in the wild? I don't know. Uh, right, let's see what the item shop has for us. Welcome to the item shop. I probably... Well, now that I've got the heal spell, I don't really feel the need to buy any medicinal herbs. <gasps> Chimera Wing. Oh, teleports you to the last uh, scout post. Definitely going to buy one of those. Yes, please. Uh, Exodust teleports you out of the current tower, cave, or dungeon. Ah, so that's basically evac. Okay, that's 50 gold, so it's kind of expensive, but... Might be useful. Uh, Divine Dagger. Ooh, that'd be good for Bruce, but it's way too expensive right now. As is the Iron Lance, which would be good for everyone. Woodcutter Axe. 650 gold? Bloody hell. Sledge ha uh, sludge hammer, sorry. Leather whip? Yeah, can strike all foes at once. Ooh. Gonna be pretty weak, though, especially considering... Yeah. Uh, Cypress staff, which we already have. Uh, okay, so some decent-looking equipment there, but at the moment... I can't afford any of it, and, uh, I mean, I might go for the Divine Dagger. 
eventually. But, I'm, yeah, I'm going to need way more money. I don't even know if I could really sell anything. Uh, sell items that Mage is carrying in his hands? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I have nothing right now. Right, well, at least we can zoom back here immediately with the uh, Chimera Wing if we get in a spot of bother. Let's check out the den. Oh, look who it is. Solitaire. Hey, I remember that stupid haircut. You're that. You're the kid I saw at the temple, right? On Infant Isle? Mage, wasn't it? Well, if you're here, I'm guessing that means you're competing in the challenge, right? But anyway, enough about you. Listen, I met that strange monster again. The one you let escape. I didn't waste any time. I attacked and tried to scout it, but nothing worked. Tch, I just don't understand it. It looks like a complete pushover. Does it, though? I've never seen any monster like that in any Dragon Quest game. Huh? Where did it go after that? Oh, I see. You want to take it for yourself, don't you? In your dreams, kid. There's no way I'm letting you where it, uh, t no way I'm telling you where it went. Uh, we, we're just the best of friends. Uh, what's wrong with this island? I can't reach the north side. I'm sure there must be a hidden passageway somewhere. I just haven't found it yet. Uh, and yeah, let's read the notice board for the first time. Well, not the first time, but... Desert Arena. Press A button for more information on this topic. Scout news. Current standings. Rummy Ooligan, Lizzie Slyman, and Bob A. A. Job. Right, well, okay. Piracy problems. Remember, no true scout would ever participate in piracy or suffer any pirates to run free. Should you ever fall victim to piracy, contact Monster Scout HQ immediately. We want to help you. What does that mean? During battles, try scouting new team members from opponents uh, by selecting... Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Desert Arena. Battle Arena opening soon. Okay, so this is basically, yeah, just news. I thought maybe it'd be like side quests. I guess not. Not at the moment, anyway. Oh, hello. I don't think we've met. Slyman's my name. Nice to muck- uh, I mean, make your acquaintance. If you're competing in the challenge, you should glop- uh, I mean, drop <laughs> in every now and then. The Scouts' dens are great places to meet other challenge uh, contestants. If you see people loitering near the wall, like I am, try talking to them. Uh, yeah, but what's the point? What's the point of talking to them? Oh, you might be able to swap monsters with them. There's trading in this? Unfortunately, I don't have any monsters to trade at, uh, now, but maybe later. Next time you visit a scout post, plop, uh, I mean, pop in the scout's den and see if I'm around. Okay. I made friends with the gloopy gladiator Simon. Okay, right. So it really probably does pay to talk to everyone. I found a pool of quicksand near the battle arena. It's like an owl in the desert. It almost sucks me right in. I reckon once you fall in there, you're not coming out. I remember quicksand was like one of my biggest fears as a kid. It was it was just it was in everything I watched. Indiana Jones, freaking well, it was actually Tar in the episode of uh, Disney's Dinosaurs, but same kind of premise. I was just terrified. Uh, little did I know that it's super easy to avoid in real life. Just don't go to where there is any sand. Right then, I think uh, we've got to explore more of the island to try and find this battle arena. And a secret passage. Um, but what I might do... Well, I guess, I guess as we explore, we're probably going to run into more monsters anyway, so I don't, I don't need to grind as such right now. Is there a bridge here? Yeah, it looks like we won't be able to uh, get across that from this side. And, oh, another scorpion. Okay. Ah, oh, but they suddenly attack. Oh, but <laughs> they didn't do anything. Right. Let's take out the slime again. Uh, probably don't need to use Zam on it, to be honest. Focus on getting rid of you first. And then we'll try and scout the scorpion. Precious poke. 
Go on, Platy, finish it off. Nice. Right, time to scout again and see if we get any luckier this time. Come on, need more than that. Yeah, this is... This is going to be a little bit tougher. With my current levels, 26%. One in four chance. How's your look? Oh my god, we got it! No way! Scorpion joins Major's team, dude! Did not expect that. I have no idea what to call this thing. Uh, it's level 5 already. 32 HP. It's got amazing stats, actually. Well, not amazing, but like pretty, pretty good across the board. Hive Mind Defense Boost. Yeah, it's gonna be a tanky boy, isn't it? Oh, and Platy's just learned a really good ability too, but I might end up replacing Platy now. Because I want to keep Bruce in my team for a little bit, because he's my starter. Hmm, or maybe I could fuse uh, Platy and this Scorpion to make something even better. Who knows? I don't know how it works yet. But for now, we need to come up with a name and uh, Scorpion. Um, I'm going to call this Dwayne after the Scorpion King. Yes. To commemorate terrible CGI. I remember watching the Scorpion King movie, though, a lot as a kid. I should I should rewatch that one of these days. Right, Dwayne, the Scorpion. Oh, I really do want to add you to my team. I actually really do. Ah, oh, but that Heartbreaker ability is really good. Let's just let's just add you to the team for now. Sorry, Platy. You might come back. Your attack is actually better, though. Ah, it's because I've got you with a stone axe. What if I can... Uh, uh, probably give that to someone else, maybe? Oh, for now, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, it looks like that bridge is not accessible right now. Ooh, look at that. This is a really cool-looking island. Let's check out... Uh, Dwayne, do you have any skill points? Yes, you do. Hive mind, so we oh, you can learn buff as well. Snooze, and you can learn heartbreaker eventually. Sleep sock? And then, yeah, just more defense. Um, I think we'll go for uh, buff, actually. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. Right, well, uh, what do we want to go next? Gotta try and find um, a way down into the crater, I suppose. Can't really. I wish I could move the camera a bit more. Like, there might even be a button to do that, but I don't know what it is. Uh, although, ah, there's some stairs over there, so we're probably going to head down that way. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that in a second, chaps. I'll be right back. Oh, hello. Uh, I think it's about to be nighttime? Yeah, sorry, I keep on getting disrupted this, uh, video. Uh, right, we're just gonna continue to explore this island then, but it looks like, yeah. Okay, we're seeing the day-night cycle in full of- oh. Ah. Oh. Holy crap, it is a completely separate- Oh, dude, yep, different monsters. Was that a giant- oh my god, that's a giant crab. Uh... I'm, again, tempted to fight the- I, we're fighting it. We're doing it. This is not gonna end well. Even- a uh, crabbed. Even with uh, our new scorpion friend. Um, let's scout it, see what percentage we get here. Probably gonna be pretty low. Oh, yeah, pretty darn low indeed, but what if we get it? What if we get it? Oh, wow. Did, did nothing. 5% is all we get. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if we got it? No, damn it. 5%. Ooh, it does hit hard and killed Bruce. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we might need to run from this, chaps. Although, saying that... I wonder. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, he's defending, son of a bitch. Which means we do zero damage. Are you kidding me? Uh, we've lost our uh, magic user as well. Yeah, we've lost our uh, Zam user, so I think we are just gonna run, actually. There's no way we're gonna kill this thing. Which means I need to uh, hightail it back to the scout freaking center, whatever they're called. Alright, but at least I know now. Different monsters, different times of day. That is cool. And, as usually is the case, Dragon Quest. Monsters at night time are a little bit scarier. A lot scarier. Thank you for the heal. Uh, no thank you. Yeah, so, uh... I think we'll just... Should we, should we wait until morning? I kind of want to see what other monsters are out at night time, though. But that might that might be a bad idea for a team this low level. But I do I like the fact that there's no music as well. It's a completely different atmosphere. Yeah, those those crabids can uh, could go suck one. Let's go down into the crater. Uh, that must be the battle arena then. Oh, got chimeras flying around. Nah, you know, you know what? I, I feel, I feel, <laughs> this is this is a bad idea. Let's rest until morning and continue our exploration <laughs> later on. Uh, also, I've had the mother of all audio issues uh, the past day or so. I've actually hooked up my old mic again just because I was like curious to see if it would still happen. It still did. Um, so it must be a software thing. I I don't know if I've sorted it. Uh, I really hope this sounds okay. I don't know if I'm gonna bother... Where am I going? I don't know if I'm gonna bother setting up my uh, new mic again for a little bit, just because it, it took me ages to get this one set up again, but... Anyway, that's uh, not uh, any of your concern. As long as the video sounds okay, that's all that matters. Let me rest, please, until... Morning. Bum bum bum! Right. Do do do. Let's go explore that crater. We need uh, we need some darkonium. We need ten, which I, I feel like is going to be a big chunk of the game, isn't it? Oh man. But I do I do love that we seem to be able to go to uh, any of the islands we want straight from the get go. I think that's pretty cool. Right. What have we got down here during the day? We did see some chimeras. Oh, what are you? <gasps> a freaking dinosaur? Oh, and fire dudes? These actually look scarier than the nighttime monsters. Should we have one go? Let's actually check out this tent first. Oh, there's a chest over there. That dinosaur is running at me. Not today, Zerg. Hello. Stein the Crows. What's wrong with the Monster Scout mob? Having this year's scout challenge uh, start off with a wussy scavenger hunt? Oh, I don't know. The challenge is supposed to be about guts and glory and fighting stuff. This new rules for wimps. That's why I'm opening uh, the battle arena for all you frustrated scouts out there. Fair dinkum. I just need to finish setting up and uh, we'll be back in business. So hang, a, hang on a tick, alright? Uh, maybe you should have a good look around the island while you wait, mate. Should be up and running by the time you get back. Will I, though? Will you? I don't know about that. Uh, hello. Ooh, that husband of mine. As soon as he heard the challenge rules, he insisted that we open the battle arena. What is... What's wrong with that man? The flaming Drongo. Hmm. I'm actually excited for the battle arena, though. I, I, I can't wait to try that out. I'm going to be the first to beat the battle arena. I'm not going anywhere until they open it. Okay. I'll see you later then, pal. With my mighty Bruce and Healy and Dwayne, the ultimate team. This, this is actually, you guys don't know this, but this is actually the ultimate team in the game. So, you know, pretty uh, pretty amazing that I've got it this this soon. Is this where the, f the fighting's going to be? Oh, there's another chest over there, but it's behind a rock. How the heck am I going to get to that? Where's the blue one again? There it is. Let's go grab this. In fact, 
Yeah, those are gonna be tough. There's so many of them. They look like, uh... Ah, you can't get me. They look like Dragonite's cousin or something. I think we should, we should probably go fight one. Not that we're gonna have a choice, actually. There we go. A Komodo. It's too stunned to act. It's tiny! It really is deceiving when you see them in the world map. They're so much bigger. Why didn't I try and scout this one anyway? Why did I, I keep on doing that? I just I just press X out of instinct, and that just causes everyone to fight. So, 10 XP though, not too shabby. 25 gold. Again, I think it's going to be worth me uh, maybe in between videos doing a little bit of uh, grinding for cash. Oh, that fire dude's going to be tough. Let's go grab that chest if we can first. Also, I'm so immature. <laughs> These cactus, cacti, whatever you want to call them. They look like penises! <laughs> uh, or, or like diglets that are very sick. I don't know. What do we get? What the heck? <gasps> Have we got our first crystal? We do! I think? That's gotta be. Yeah! Oh, it's actually very pretty. We've got our first crystal, guys. Just nine more to go. Sweet. Let's hope we're one of the first five to get all ten, though, otherwise we'd be in trouble. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Let's try and scout one of these bastards. They look- they look so happy, though. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, please just be one, but no, there's two. Right, so we, we are gonna just fight in this first round. Get rid of one of them. Yep, they hit pretty hard, especially considering that was- Ooh, they hit Dwayne for that much damage, and dwayne has got, like, a crap ton of defense. Oh, Dwayne, you paralyzed him! Beautiful! I don't know if that makes it easier for him to be scouted or not. I really don't. Ten percent. Not the worst start, not the best start. Critical hit, baby! Oh, yeah. I actually feel kind of bad beating this little... He's a little baby. Oh, only 30%. We got him! Damn! All right. What are you going to be like? I have no idea what to call you, either. Um, 27 attack. Kind of crappy wisdom, but other than that, fairly decent. Only level 3 and already has 40 HP as well. Well, that ain't bad. Um, I'm gonna call you... Oh boy, I don't know what to call you. Um, uh, you're a Komodo dragon. I'm gonna call you... Hmm. Oh, I, I'm so bad at coming up with funny, clever, witty names. I don't know. I'm gonna call him Pete. After Pete's dragon. I know that, that Pete was the name of the kid in that, but I don't know if... Oh, it was Elliot. It was Elliot, wasn't it? It was Elliot the... That's the name. How do I quit out of this? No. How do I delete? Delete. I'm gonna call it Elliot. Uh, I've not seen the remake of that, by the way. Is it any good? I remember watching the, uh... Is it two L's and Elliot? I feel like it's two L's and Elliot. I don't know how to spell Elliot, guys. I've never had to spell this name in my entire life. If there's any Elliots out there... Hi! But yeah, I used to watch the original. So much as a kid. That beginning bit where we're all in the mud used to... I don't know. Fascinate me. It's actually quite scary if you think about it. Right, Elliot. There we go. Um... I'm... Oh. I don't really... I'm not gonna add him to the team just yet. You are one of my substitutes. Can I... Can I choose? Can I swap in to my substitutes in battle? I would assume so. I haven't tried doing that yet. Right, we got a new monster. Uh, where did I come from? That's where I came from, isn't it? I think. 
Or did I come from that way? I don't know. I don't know. I want to see if I can get to that other chest, but I think there's rocks in the way. Oh, there's quicksand. Best avoid that. Oh, getting a little bit close there. Oh, no! That was... Oh, that was scary. I wonder what happens if you do fall in there. Yeah, we ain't getting past this rock, are we? Not on your Nelly. Hmm. Must be from the other the other side. Oh, hang on. We can go up there and then work our way round, I think. Da, 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 da. Yeah, one, one Darkonium crystal in the bag. No idea how long it's going to take me to get the rest of them, chaps. Oh, can I not get up there? Shit. I can barely go anywhere. Maybe, maybe I just need to go to another island. Now that I've got the crystal from this one. Because it doesn't seem like I can really do anything. I mean, maybe when the battle arena's open, but when's that going to open? He wasn't really specific on a time frame. This reminds me of the Dragon Graveyard in Dragon Quest VIII. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm about to be attacked, by the way. What are these little things, little mounds? And I, I kind of want to fight a Chimera at night time. How long do the days last in this game? Uh, and is this... What is this taking me? That's just a dead end as well. How do I... How do I get to all these other places, goddammit? There's rocks in the way everywhere, or ledges that I can't climb up. I can only assume that it's like those boxes earlier on, on Infantile, where they just get moved eventually, after you talk to a certain person, maybe? Because there's way more to this island, but we just can't really get anywhere right now. Oh, more heal slimes, okay. Two of them. Well, again, I don't really need to uh, scout any- uh, Again, it, maybe it is worth scouting multiples of enemies just to uh, fuse them. In fact, I'm tempted just to try that at the end of this video before we do anything else. Also, have you noticed that it's just saying fight, fight, fight whenever we choose the fight command? <laughs> uh, actually, let's scout this one. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll fuse it with Goober. If we get it, that is. We're not really filling up the percentage here, are we? I do love that Dwayne can paralyze with physicals. 22, good number. We're not gonna get this one, are we? We bloody did. What? That's mental. That is mental, mate. Why are we getting so lucky? We're getting lucky with with monster that I didn't really need. But yeah, we've recruited another one. Okay. Oh, you had you came with more HP than uh, Healy did. Healy had 28. Ah, so there is a little bit of variation. That's very good. Right, I'm just going to name you number one. Because you're going to be fused, and I don't care about your name. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to send you to storage. And let's... Uh... Let's go back to the center. Yeah, because I can't go around that way because the bridge is in the way. There's nothing up that cliff. Maybe there's something along the beach. Do, do, do. All right, let's go attempt our first fuse if it'll let me. Uh, never synthesized monsters before. No, synthesized lets you combine two monsters to create a brand new one. The traits are passed on to the re uh, resulting monster, so I'm assuming abilities. Is that right? Yeah, the best way to learn is to do it yourself. That is exactly what I'm going to try and do. Synthesize. Oh, do they have to be in my team? No, they don't. They're in my storage. Let's... Okay. Yeah. Oh, they must be level 10. Okay. Okay, that's fine. At least I know now. We'll do that at some point, chaps. We will do that at some point. 
Right, uh, might as well rest up again. And I think... I think that's probably a video. I don't know, it might be a short one. But what I'm going to do is uh, possibly possibly do a little bit of grinding just to maybe get more money more than anything and, and possibly save up for a better weapon for one of us. Uh, and um, I mean, may maybe we'll get Bruce to level 10. How close is he to leveling? He's pretty close. So we could at least get him to level 8. Yeah, level, level 10 is probably a bit much. But we'll definitely get Bruce another level, Healy another level. And uh, and then we'll either... Well, I don't, I don't really think there is much more we can do on this island. At least right now. Unless, again, we can go this way and see if uh, there's a way up. Because I haven't really been over this way. And we're about to get attacked again. Oh, more scorpions. Oh, wow. I couldn't bloody avoid that, could I? Straight in me, straight in me face. Right up in me grill. And he attacks first, the son of a bitch. That's alright, it's more XP. It's fine, it's fine. I was gonna do this anyway. Hello? Come on, game. Come on, game. Thank you. Uh, probably will fight a, a few scorpions. Oh, I don't know how I avoided that. Ooh, okay, we've made it to a different area here, I think. Have we? Yeah, I think we have, actually. So... Is that a cave down there? That's a cave down there. Maybe we'll uh, explore more of this in the next video. Just want to wander over here. Look at that, perfectly dodged. Beautiful. Can I go down here? I can. Right, is this how I'm going to get to one of those chests? It must be. Oh, in fact, no, that just looks like a shortcut down there anyway. That's a slidey thing, isn't it? I don't really want to go down that way just yet. I've just been down there. That's no good to me. Hmm... There's another bridge. Ooh, can I knock this one down, though? No, that looks to be on the other side, too. Oh, but there's a chest on the pier. There are, appears to be a chest. <laughs> Let's go get it. And then, uh, probably gonna end the video. Uh, oh, we get seeds in this game? Seed of strength. Yes, now... If you know me, if you've watched any of my Dragon Quest playthroughs, you know that I blooming hoard those things until the very end of the game when, yes, I probably should use them sooner than that. But I also like to make sure I know who I want to really focus on. And with a game like this especially, with the fact that I'm probably going to be using tens of monsters throughout it, I want to make sure I use that on a monster I'm actually going to use for a long time. So I'm going to keep hold of that for now. But this is where I'm going to end the video, chaps. As I said, probably going to do a little bit of fighting off screen. And uh, then maybe we'll have to head to another island and see if we can find more crystals. Or maybe the battle arena will uh, open up at some point, now that we've got the crystal. Who knows? Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. And yeah, really hope these videos sound okay. Ugh. Technical issues suck balls.